Hmm? What the heck? What is this? What is the mirror doing here in the middle of the forest? Ow! What the? What do you mean? She's gone! I mean, like, she just never returned back from her walk. Well, we will look for her. Don't worry. Thank you so much, dear. So, she just disappeared in one night, right? That is what it sounds like. Well, we have to find Cynthia. Don't worry, we will. Where do we even start? <sighs> I'm not sure. Snow? But California does not have snow. What was that? I should probably leave. <sighs> How should we even start this search for Cynthia? We could start off in the forest where she disappeared from behind her mother's house. Since that is where she was last seen. Not a bad idea. Well, it is an obvious place to go to after all. Well then, shouldn't we get going after all? The more time passes, the more likely we will never see Cynthia again. Well, before we even leave to go search for her, we need to have some tools with us in case of emergencies or anything. Alright then, let's go get those tools and get going. I was able to grab a little information of the recent missing persons case. The day when Cynthia Miller went missing, she was walking in the forest in her mother's backyard. And that was the last place she has been seen. But when I went to look at the scene over there, I saw burned ashes and ice. Ice and burned ashes? This doesn't make any sense, Juliet. I know it doesn't. But I grabbed the ice and burned ashes into separate bags for evidence, and... It's been more than five whole hours, and they still haven't melted. But that's impossible! Ice is supposed to melt when there is no cooler or anything. We need to continue looking for any more clues that could lead us into finding Cynthia. Do you think we'll find something? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I really want to find Cynthia as much as you do, Pearl. I'm just thinking that maybe we're too late. Well, that is an if. You're not giving up on her. Y yeah. Guys? For some reason, I sense something around here. Does anyone have a pendulum? I do. You guys are very lucky that you have a witchy friend like me. Agreed. Left. You guys see what's in that pile of leaves? Yeah, we do. But I wonder why there'd be ice deer. It's ashes for some reason. I think it has something to do with Cynthia. We should keep looking. We may find more clues. Alright, done. Ah! Pearl! <sighs> what happened? There's Cynthia in that mirror and she was covered in blood right over there. Cynthia, can you see or hear us? Oh, she can't see you or hear you. What the tail did you do to Cynthia? I didn't, I didn't really, really do, anything. do anything. 
All she did was touch the mirror and poof, she entered in my dimension. How is that even possible? Magic. What else? Well, tell us how we can rescue Cynthia. Hmm. Sorry, but I want to have my fun with her. Well, we will find a way to get her out of your dimension. <laughs> well then, you better hurry, or she'll be stuck here for eternity. Wait, before you go, I demand your name. Just call me Ember Talon. I'm basically the demon in this icy cold world. Well, now since I've answered your question, I can finally leave this horrendous place. She better not hurt Cynthia. We couldn't make sure she doesn't. For now, we only have no leads, but we can figure out things along the way. Let's just hope she's okay for the time being. Me too. We should take this mirror with us. Who's willing to have this mirror in your house? I can take it. I'm used to having such powerful objects inside my house. Alright then, we should probably get going. Hello? Who's there? Sandra. Cynthia? Sandra, you got to listen to me. Uh, I'm listening. On December 23rd, which is about a month from now, there will be a blue moon on that night. You must go to the forest where you will find three trees that have crystals around them. That's where you'd use the mirror and face it towards the blue moon. Then the moonlight will create an opening gate for me to get back to your world. But you must be careful. Ember Talon will try everything in her power to stop us. But how do we stop Ember Talon? We don't even know her weaknesses. Everyone has weakness, even villains. I found an ice crystal that has powers strong enough to defeat her. I see, but please tell me that you're safe. Don't worry, so far I am unharmed. The dimension I am in is incredibly cold. But thankfully, I was wearing a sweater before I got transferred into this world. But thanks to the crystal I found, I don't feel anything. It looks like I'm running out of time. Wait, you can't go yet. I'm sorry, Sandra, but my energy is running out. We will meet again. I promise. <gasps> that was no ordinary dream. I'm going to have to tell the others about this. Juliet? What do you need, Michael? Do you think we could question Cynthia's friends to see if we could get any new leads from them? Maybe. But before we do that, we need to remind them that none of her friends are suspects. But what if one of them is? Don't test on me, Michael. I will not consider them as suspects. And I know who they are. None of her friends would do something cruel on her. If you want to keep your role as an officer, listen to what I say and don't jump to conclusions. Yes, ma'am. You're free to go, but we will question her friends for any clues. But that is it. Yes, ma'am. I bet she went hard on you, huh? I'm going to lose my role as an officer if I don't do what she says. But she needs to know that I could be right. Well, the truth is, half of the stuff you see about innocent people is incorrect. So clearly, Julia is right about you. You need to calm down and let people talk. Now please, just cooperate with us and get this case solved. Fine. But Cynthia's friends, friends must, must be related, related to, to the, the case. case. Why so early in the morning? It's freezing cold. Well, from what we are going through, it's about Cynthia and that mirror. Well, first off, last night I had a dream about the mirror and Cynthia. And that dream wasn't normal. What do you mean by it wasn't normal? Well, I had a conversation with Cynthia, but there was a limit so she could only tell me what she could do in a certain amount of time. 
She told me that in order to free her from the ice world, we must go into a forest that has three trees with crystals around them and point the mirror towards the moonlight to open a gateway for her to pass through. How did she find this information? I'm not so sure, but it's what we clearly have right now that could lead to her escape. But one thing though, one month is too long. If something were to happen to her in that time being, what could we do then? She told me she found an ice crystal that could help fight the Ember Talon, but this is the only thing that can harm it. What is this place? Hello. Hello. If you were reading this, this, this means that you have been trapped, trapped in this world from that mirror and trying, and trying to figure, figure out how to get back to your home. home. But I figured out a way that, could, that would that help me get, get back to my world. world. When someone from the other side puts the mirror in the moonlight surrounded by crystallized trees, it will open a gateway. I found this out by fishes from this very ice crystal next to this note. And another thing, this crystal has special powers besides giving fishes. If a pet touches this crystal, it will give it ice powers that would defeat the demon. But it would only choose one specific pet that has a pure heart. I wasn't able to obtain its powers while I was here, but perhaps for Ever's readings in the future, could be could the pet with a pure heart. heart. Okay, this is getting weirder. Would I be the pet that has a pure heart? What the? Weird. Where is the crystal? What the? Why do I look like this? And where is my scarf? Cynthia. Yeah. What? Who are you? I am an ice crystal that you fused with. How is that even possible? Because you're the one that has a pure heart. I guess I was right all along then. The note said that you have the ability to stop the demon in this world. But how do I even learn how to control it? Well, I could train you. How the tail are you even going to train me when you're inside of me in the first place? I have my ways. Perhaps you should turn around. What do you mean by... Heck! Hello there, Cynthia. This is my pet form. This will allow me to talk to you face to face. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. Now then, I'd like to start with the training very soon. We have a time limit. Yeah, we probably should. I hope I get out of here soon enough so that I could be with my friends and family. There's a way to be able to communicate with your friends and family, which will be the first thing that I'll be teaching you. We should get started now. Hello, Juliet. Oh, hello, Henry. Is there something wrong? Well, it's about Cynthia's case. I've done a bit more digging and... I was able to get camera footage from her mother's house that led to the backyard. Oh my dog, this could be our lead. Yes, but in the footage, it's something that I thought was impossible. What do you mean? Here, take a look. What the dog biscuits? Yeah, she just pooped in the air after she touched that beer. How's that even possible? It's like, this is the type of case we are doing that contains something unnatural. 
Well, one thing is for sure, we need to find that mirror and see how it works. Yes, but from when we checked the scene by the time she went missing, the mirror is not there. So someone must have taken it. We should find that person then. And to let the public know about this. It could help us get that mirror in our paths quicker. But you do realize that not everyone believes in this stuff. And the things that the camera footage has been photoshopped. But that's only a small part of our town. Most of them are not from here and don't know the history of Snowbell. We cannot forget about the legend of the Ice Crystal and the Ember Talon. Our town is known for that legend. I never will. Everyone who has been born here has heard about that legend at least once in their lifetime. Indeed, but I have this gut feeling that the legend could be somewhat involved in this case. What do you mean? It would be impossible that Amber Town would still be alive after 500 years. Yeah, but our town is the impossible sometimes. Anyway, we should release this news to the public this morning. Alright then. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Night, Juliet. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Just leave me for somebody else.